The Boeing X-32 is a concept demonstrator aircraft that was designed for the Joint Strike Fighter competition. The project's purpose was to develop a stealth-enabled design to replace all of United States Department of Defense lighter weight fighter and attack aircraft, including the F-16 Fighting Falcon, McDonnell Douglas F, A-18 Hornet, and vertical, short takeoff, vertical landing AV-8B Harrier II. Around the same time the Joint Advanced Strike Technology Project was started. In 1994, the U.S. Congress ordered the two to be merged into the Joint Strike Fighter Program. Many companies took part in the first phase of this project, which involved drafting concept aircraft designs for submission to the Department of Defense. On 16 November 1996, Boeing and Lockheed Martin were awarded contracts for them to produce two of their concept demonstrator aircraft each. Under the contract, these fighters were required to demonstrate conventional takeoff and landing, carrier takeoff and landing, and short takeoff and vertical landing. They were also expected to include ground demonstrations of a production representative aircraft systems, such as the preferred weapon system concept. Each was awarded $750 million to produce their two aircraft, including avionics, software and hardware. This limitation promoted the adoption of low-cost manufacturing and assembly techniques, and also prevented either Boeing or Lockheed Martin from bankrupting themselves in an effort to win such an important contest. Boeing's strategy for a competitive advantage was to offer substantially lower manufacturing and life cycle costs by minimizing variations between the different JSF versions. The X-32 therefore was designed around a large one-piece carbon fiber composite delta wing. The compete on cost strategy also led Boeing to pick a direct lift thrust vectoring system for the Marine's short takeoff and vertical landing requirement, as this would only necessitate the addition of a thrust vectoring module around the main engine. Boeing had proposed, in the 1960s, a similar supersonic fighter with a mid-center of gravity-mounted engine with vectored thrust nozzles, but this never proceeded beyond pictures published in Aviation Week. The Boeing in-house nickname of the X-32 was the Monica. Mitigation possibilities included variable baffles designed to block incoming radio waves without adversely affecting airflow. Eight months into construction of the concept demonstrator aircraft, the JSF's maneuverability and payload requirements were refined at the request of the Navy and Boeing's Delta Wing design fell short of the new targets. Engineers altered the aircraft's design with a conventional canted twin tail that reduced weight and improved agility, but it was too late to change the aircraft. It was judged that they would be sufficient to demonstrate Boeing's technology. On 14 December 1999, Boeing unveiled both its concept demonstrators at its plant in Palmdale, California, in front of 5,500 attendees, while the X-32A was expected to make an appearance, the rollout of the X-32B was a surprise, as construction of the latter aircraft had started some three months after the former and was completed six weeks after the X-32A. Boeing attributed the rapid construction of the STOVL version to the use of digital design and assembly methods. After having the Pratt & Whitney F-119 engine installed in April 2000, the X-32A commenced low- and medium-speed taxi tests, which had been completed by late May. Due to the heavy delta wing design of the X-32, Boeing demonstrated STOVL and supersonic flight in separate configurations, with the STOVL configuration requiring that some parts be removed from the fighter. The company promised that their conventional tail design for production models would not require separate configurations. By contrast, the Lockheed Martin the 1035 concept demonstrator aircraft were capable of transitioning between their STOVL and supersonic configurations in mid-flight. The first flight of the X-32A took place on 18 September 2000, from Boeing's Palmdale plant to Edwards Air Force Base. The aircraft, piloted by Boeing test pilot Fred Knox, took 2,200 feet of runway before becoming airborne at 150 knots at around 8 am. A minor hydraulic leak was discovered and the flight was shortened to 20 minutes from the expected 30 to 40 minutes. During the flight, the aircraft reached 10,000 feet, attained a speed of 200 knots, and attained an angle of attack of 13 degrees. Despite the shortened flight, about 80% of the planned test points were accomplished. The flight lasted 50 minutes as the aircraft flew from Palmdale to Edwards AFB. The flight had originally been scheduled for the third quarter of 2000. A modified version of the minus 614C engine, known as the F-119PW614S, powered the STOVL aircraft. In normal flight, the Minus 614S was configured as a conventional afterburning turbofan. 
In the STOVL mode a butterfly valve diverted the core stream exhaust gases to a pair of thrust vectoring nozzles located close to the aircraft's center of gravity. The X-32B achieved STOVL flight in much the same way as the AV-8B Harrier II with thrust vectoring of the jet exhaust. Basically the F-119PW614S was a direct lift engine, whereas the Lockheed Martin STOVL team used a more complex and riskier alternative, known as the F-119PW-611, which comprised a remote shaft-driven lift fan powered by the main engine. A successful design would have greater payload, and thus longer range than a simple thrust-vectored turbofan. Flight testing of both companies' aircraft continued until July 2001. The X-35 would be developed into the production Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II. The loss of the JSF contract to Lockheed Martin in 2001 was a major blow to Boeing, as it represented the most important international fighter aircraft project since the lightweight fighter program competition of the 1960s and 1970s, which had led to the F-16 Fighting Falcon and F-A-18 Hornet. Boeing views its work on the X-32 as a strategic investment, yielding important technologies which it has been able to adopt in the Boeing F-A-18E, F-Super Hornet and other studies. In 2005, the Boeing X-32A was transferred to the National Museum of the United States Air Force near Dayton, Ohio.